Hi guys, welcome to the long-awaited three rubber muzzle we will be launching soon. Not exactly sure when. This is just to give you a little bit of the background on all of our development that we went through to manufacture this muzzle. As you can see, we have uh, in-house 3D printing abilities and we made many models of these which were suitable to put onto a gun and actually get in the water and use. You would have seen some of those clips in our previous videos. This is a little bit more behind the scenes in the actual making of the mold. As you can see, this is an open muzzle at this stage. In time, we will look at manufacturing a closed version of the same muzzle. Make it up as a it's shared. No, no, I agree. Then if yeah. we don't, and then it is only two of these. Yeah. All right, so the next thing we're going to do today is we're actually going to change the injection point on our uh, triple band muzzle mold. We were injecting it here and we were getting quite a lot of shrinkage at the front of the rail, which affected how the spear sits when you wrap your line. So we're going to, we've welded up this little gate and we're going to move the injection point all the way back to where the screw sits on the muzzle in the hope that it'll change how the muzzle shrinks. With manufacturing such a long component, there's definitely an element of warping when it's being injected. The 3D printer doesn't show that, but all the dimensionals are perfectly stable. So while being molded, the product can warp to some degree. We were aware of this, we anticipated it, we tried to work it into the design, but we ended up with a component that had warped a little bit more than we wanted. So we wanted to take the guesswork out and we purchased an app to go along with our CNC software to simulate how the product will warp during molding. With that, you input your component, the material you're using, and that will give you a simulated problem you may have by the injection point. So in this footage, you can see us closing the old injection point and moving it to where the computer said we should. And surprising, surprising, the computer simulated output was exactly what they said it would be. So we've since tweaked the drawing to compensate for the minor warpage that would be occurring. And then we got into the water and did some pool testing. In this part of the video, we're showing pool testing. Here you can see how the muzzle moves or doesn't move whilst being fired. You must remember this is max power on this rubber. This is not suitable for a standard gun. We have to put this to our Timberline guns because of the recoil. In this pool testing, we were able to dial it in with 12 mil bands, three by 12 mil bands and a seven and a half mil spear showing extremely low muzzle kick. This is the problem many overpowered guns have that muzzle kicks up causing the spear to wobble. We have zero wobble in this. That means that spear, that sharp, goes way faster than normal. We've done quite a few in the sea testing and we're about to do a whole lot more before we release this. But uh, it's in the cards. We should have it on the market very soon. Well, there you go. Some of the behind the scenes work we do. I hope you enjoyed that video. Stand by for the next one.